In this video, we'll cover how to add conditional logic to interactions to perform different actions based on user entered data. Here's a login form where the user enters in a username and password. Clicking login will either take the user to the My Account page or show an error message. We've labeled the two text fields email field and password field. The button, login button, and the dynamic panel, error panel. And we'll also set the dynamic panel to be hidden by default. We're going to add two cases to the onclick event of the login button. For our first case, let's click on the add condition link, which opens the condition builder dialog. First, we'll create a condition for the text on the widget email field. And click the plus icon to add a new row for the password field condition. You can choose whether all of the rows or any of the rows need to be satisfied to pass the condition. If the conditions are met, we want the prototype to open the My Account page in the current window. Let's add our second case. By default, cases added after a conditional case will be an else if statement. Since we're not adding a condition to this case, the action to show the error panel will be performed if the condition in the first case is not met. Let's mask the text in the password field and generate the prototype. You can see that entering anything other than the correct email and password shows the error message. And entering the correct combination takes us to the My Account page. And this concludes the conditional logic demo. If you have any questions, email us at support at or tweet us at ActureRP.